All right, time for another episode of the Josh Cast. How am I feeling today? Surprisingly positive. Bowels are still not so good. Um, I had half a piece of cake yesterday, and at a side bowl. That's probably what's contributing to this, and some buffalo or barbecue chicken wings. You know, the more I describe what my diet is, the more I begin to understand why I feel like crap the next day. About to, uh, ah, this is the other thing too. I'm tired of saying, ah, dropping the, ah, in the middle of a sentence. It indicates that I'm not entirely connected with what I'm saying. That I'm just filling the room with noise until I say something. It's a stall tactic that I'm very, I'm becoming very cognizant of. I don't want this uh anymore. So my, the game for this podcast is no more us. And if that means there's a pause, then so be it. The sun is in my face. Reminds me of Albert Camus' The Stranger, where the main character kills another guy because the sun was in his eyes. And it's a meditation on on existentialism, that book. Really uplifting novel. I think in the in the end the character was executed. But I, I believe the issue was his belief was it it doesn't matter either way whether I killed the guy. And people kept fighting him, and he maintained his belief system even to the end. I believe that's what it was. And I think, don't quote me, but I think the the point of it was not necessarily literal. No, you can't go around killing people. However, the point of it is... There is no overarching morality, or any morality that there is, is not something that has been placed upon us by a higher authority. It is something that we have constructed in our own minds. So if there is any morality, we are creating it, and we are abiding by something that we created. The character in The Stranger was not Jewish. Because if he had been Jewish, he never I don't think he would have pulled that trigger. There would have been too much guilt involved. Even if he believed in existentialism, even if he really, really believed in it, that Jewish conditioning would have... He would never have escaped it. In the back of his mind, there would have been the voice of the Jewish mother going, What did he ever do to you? What did that other guy ever do to you? Can't walk around shooting people. And you don't know. Maybe there is a God. You don't know. You don't know. He had a mother. Did that ever, did that ever, did that ever cross your mind? He had a mother too. The mother's grieving now. Because the sun was in your eyes? I told you to get sunglasses. It's very bad for your eyes if you don't have sunglasses. And then you're squinting all the time. You're going to get wrinkles. Why are you carrying a gun outside? Why are you doing it? Do you have a permit for the gun? No. I told you, you need a permit for the gun.
I, I, I don't know. I told you. I told you not to kill people randomly. Did I not tell you this? So that's my thought on the stranger. I was also told I should not be wearing earphones in the car because it could be a distraction, which I've been doing every day now for months. So I'd better uh, not do that. I'm doing that right now. So maybe what I'll do is I'll keep, uh, I'll keep one earphone in because that's the one that's holding up the microphone. Maybe I'll, but I'll keep the other one out. How about that? Yeah, I don't like the feel of that. I need to figure out a way to keep the microphone close without putting the earphone in. That's what I, I need. You know, I need a lapel mic. That's what I need. Maybe I should get a lapel mic. But I don't want to. Sp- I don't want to spend money on this thing. Got a budget of zero. That's my podcast budget. Just saw a truck drive by advertising a fencing company. They specialize in fences. You know, it never occurred to me that there was a company that was specifically dedicated to fences. Can't help but wonder how that got started. I have a way with fences. I understand borders. I'm good with fences. Well, when I was growing up, all the other kids, they wanted wanted to be astronauts. They wanted to be uh, they wanted to be musicians. But I had a propensity for fencing. Not swordplay fencing. I had a propensity for putting up fences. My father was very unhappy. Very unhappy with me. He wanted me to go into the industrial plier business, which are those things you use to cut holes in fences. And maybe I was rebelling. And I said, no, I want to build a fence that can withstand even your toughest plier. Our feud never ended. He passed away before I could make amends. I dedicated a fence to him. It's a fence that separates uh, a baseball field from, from the rest of the fields. Uh, bowels getting tough again. I should know better. I should know better. I was doing so well yesterday. I had a salad for lunch and dinner. had the acai bowl, even that, probably not the best thing to have, but still pretty healthy. Ah, Magnolia Boulevard. Magnolia Boulevard. Sesame Street. Do I, I that, for some reason that reminds me of the theme song 
to Sesame Street. Let's, can I remember it? Sunny day, bringing the clouds away. On my way to where the is it air is clean. I don't think that was it. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? If the kids already know that Sesame Street is cool, it would connote that they had already been to Sesame Street. That said, why are they asking directions to Sesame Street? I wonder who named Sesame Street. Somebody who liked sesame seeds? Somebody who's into bagels? So this car is trying to uh, get into my lane. It's making a right turn. And I did that thing where I pulled up to totally make it clear to them that they cannot go in front of me. Totally did that. Such a bro move. Well, I'm not doing the ums. Big long pauses though, but no ums. I'm directing my communication. There's an Audi. I've always been a fan of Audis. Or is it Audi? My grandparents drove an Audi. I remember this. It was a cool, I remember thinking this is a cool car. There's something about the Audi that's stylish. I don't know if it's the four circles. I don't know what it is, but I've always, always been a fan of Audis. If I were to really make it big, you know, I keep that might be the that would be the car I'd go with maybe but not not even the sporty one just the sedan maybe I say that because I have allegiance to the Honda so based on my allegiance if I were to make it big technically I should upgrade to Acura Why am I loyal to a brand? I'm talking like they're my team, you know, that they're my team. I was trapped in the woods for several months. I thought I was going to die. But then at the last moment I was saved by a Honda. Weren't you saved by the person in the Honda? Who cares? They couldn't have gotten to me without that Honda. And that is why I am forever in debt to Honda. I will only buy Hondas. Only! I will not buy Corollas. Not ever! Only Hondas. Still worrying about my IBS. That's still where my brain is keeps going back to. I do so well, like the whole day I will eat well, and then at the end of the day is when I I can't maintain my discipline. And that's where I cheat, which is the worst time to do it. 
because then I got an upset stomach all night and then the next morning I'm sick. I should know better. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street? How to get to Sesame Street? I'll tell you if you stop singing the question to me. How to get to Sesame Street? Would you like to know how to get to Sesame Street? Go find a map and then learn how to use it. Shouldn't you have learned how to use a map by watching all those episodes, all those episodes of Sesame Street? All those episodes of Sesame Street. I'm not familiar with this particular neighborhood. Please don't ask me how to get to Sesame Street. Very uncomfortable around children. Why don't you go ask the guy working at that phone kiosk over there? Why did you go ask the guy working at that phone kiosk over there? All this malice towards Sesame Street. I don't know why. I enjoyed the program when I watched it. I don't think I recognize any of the celebrities that would do it. I'm trying to remember who I, what the celebrities I remember on it. I can't, I think there was a Star Trek. I know one of the people, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure one of them did it. I, I think Nimoy did it. Maybe that's the one I watched. Now there was one. I feel like there was one the, a celebrity that I wa- that I remember that was with the count that was counting. I can't remember. I know I could go to YouTube and somebody's cut together all the celebrity clips from Sesame Street, and that's what I'm watching now more than I'm watching top ten lists on YouTube. Uh, I'm watching. I did the uh again. Stop it. I'm watching top 10 lists on YouTube. I'm watching clip episodes, basically. Like, I just watched all the cameo celebrity call-ins on Frasier. The beginning of every show, he's doing the radio psychology thing in the radio station, and people are calling in. And a lot of them are celebrities. So there was a, somebody just cut all the ones together. that I have a feeling they recorded by people just literally calling into the studio. But that's what I'm watching. I don't watch the actual episodes. My attention span... I'm very ashamed of this because I was watching an interview with Werner Herzog. And if you're not familiar, watch this person. He's incredibly interesting to watch, very smart. And one of the movies he made is called, I think, Fitzcarraldo. Am I saying it right? And I rented this movie. I paid money to watch this movie on iTunes. And I just, I'm ashamed to admit this, I could not get through it. I got about 20 minutes in and I went, I I can't, I can't do this. I cannot do this. And my watching habits have become insane. Last night, I watched the first 15 minutes of The Crow, but then I had to stop because I was getting too upset because of the violence and because that was the movie where Brandon Lee died on the set, and I just couldn't let that go. And then I'm bouncing between Todd Berry's stand-up 
and Mark Maron's stand-up on Netflix. I'm just watching clips of everything. So even when the show is not a clip, I treat it like it's a clip. I, my attention span is just going down the toilet. I watch bits and pieces of things. I go, all right, I got the idea. Like even with Fitzcarraldo. Yep, I see what he's doing. That's not how I should watch anything or appreciate anything. Yeah, I got it. He holds for a few seconds after the actors leave the shot so you can just be present with the scenery. I got it. I got it. All right. Getting close to my destination here. Hoping this IBS thing is not a life-threatening condition. Proceeding with my day, dropped out the ums, feeling a lot better about what I'm doing now that I got rid of those ums. This is an umless podcast, pretty much. Very impressed.